Yani mimi mwanne ni ya kibane mimi. Yesterday kebu natari ya okay ititi ya na mwotuari. Ikota go. Aya kwa na this uh, June. I think uh, 26th or 28th of June. I think 26th of June. Ne, if I had next two weeks kaya kwa. Yeah. So, um, this this is, this story is somehow, you know, so this guy you are looking at here, the, he, he don't oof yesterday. And the brother that is saying what happened, he's saying that this guy, what happened to him is that he went to buy gallon. You know, this gallon they used to buy fuel and all those things. He went to buy that gallon. And on buying that gallon, he wanted to just open it and see, he smell it like to know, you know, is it clean? You know, that's normal thing. Like once you see, you buy a gallon, you just open it and, you know, smell. So that's what happened to him. And immediately he opened that gallon and smelled it. The, the chemical inside the carton, the, 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 the gallon, like the gallon, you know, it's a used gallon. They are bringing it from abroad. You know, these people that are importer and exporter, they pack all those things, put it there, and the guy breathed something inside there. The thing went into his, his, guy, his jerry can. We call it jerry can. Is it jelly can? What did this man call it now? <clears throat> Sorry, let me hear what the man called it. Neje Bukari used Belgian gallon in case he contain in case he wrote web. Yeah, but he said it's gallon now. Yeah. So everybody, if you say, whether you say gallon or jerry can, everybody understand. We use it to fetch water. We use it to, but by, by the time I was in Nigeria, there were all those plastic companies in Nigeria that were producing it. So I don't know that it is not there, but he's giving the reason why that the one that they are producing in Nigeria, that the quality is poor. Maybe you will buy it, you, you will close it as some, after some time, it will not close properly or something. So they prefer the one that is coming from abroad. So that's why they buy it from abroad. So, yeah, this guy, yeah. So my people, this is just, you know, I mean, it's not a nice story but i maybe somebody can learn from it and again i want to also make a commentary about the brother that shared this video because the blame is going to nigeria of course you have to blame nigeria because of uh, you know the corruption in it when you are saying corruption you know there's there's a time president jonathan said corruption is not stealing truly corruption is not stealing because corruption is deeper than stealing corruption is like is 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 like a a bullet that is back, 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 killing people in different ways yeah so because of the corruption in nigeria that kind of jerry can i'm very sure that there is a place that they say maybe a, something that is used for this thing don't take it out of nigeria you know I have worked in a lab before where they are using uh, radioactive materials. Those places, self, even you have to wear there are different type of gloves at different points of, you know, and uh, like for example, uh, the chemicals that they are putting you know, all those uh, uh, radioactive material. Now, maybe they put it inside something, transport it. Somebody will not go and put his nose there. Hmm? So, because it's invisible, you can't even see it. So the story is saying that this brother, this our brother that we are looking at here, he has gone yesterday, he has gone to glory yesterday, that he went to the market to buy jerry can or gallon, you know, that they used to buy fuel, you know, this you want to buy fuel, want to fetch water, that gallon, he needed it, and he went to second hand people that are bringing it from overseas he went to buy and he just bought it and he just wanted to open it and see what is you know what is inside so that he will know how to clean it he put his nose there that's all you just put your nose there then the chemical from inside just inhaled it 
it went into his body, it collapsed his lungs. Yeah. He collapsed his lungs and he was sick. And before you know it, he just spied yesterday. He's healthy, nothing happened to him. So, hi, you know, at the end of the day, this is a very, very terrible thing to happen. If it was me, I would be wondering, where did he buy that gallon? Where, where, where? Obviously, everybody will know the shop he bought that gallon because something like that said, you can't just dispose it anywhere because another person will go and carry it. Something like that, that's where police come in. Yeah? That's where you have to say, ah, this is what happened. You go to the shop, the man that imported it, whoever is selling it, you know, they have to codone all the wares in his shop because we don't know how many. So they are going to bring people, like people that detonate bomb, they wear the appropriate material and go through the, the material to all. They will just, you know, destroy all of it to save life. This is what you do. When something like this happens, you don't sit back in your house and be saying, Nigeria, this Nigeria. Yeah, the country is corrupt. Everybody know that. They have corrupt people in places of power, in places where they need safeguard. For example, normally, because of safety, something like this should not come into Nigeria. And normally, even from wherever they are bringing it from, something like that is supposed not to cross. But, you know, the sharp, sharp, sharpness, you go and take something where you're not supposed to take and bring it to Nigeria. So now we don't know. Is it only that jerry can, that gallon you got from that shop? Are there many like that? You know, before you will say, oh, my enemy, they will say, who did it? They will see prophecy. Many people are going to be suffering for what they know nothing about. But they will give prophecy now. They will give revelation. Who did it? Who did not do it? But meanwhile, it is just a jerry can that they went to buy from the market. Okay, now, how did you help to stop that cycle of destruction? Huh? Because, for example, if you see that something is bad, like, for example, it's contaminated, you can disinfect it to protect the next person. So you have seen something like this now. I did not read anywhere that you went back to the market or you say, where did you buy it? I'm sure somebody know where you bought it. That man supposed to pay for damages. All the gallons that came in that batch, Maybe there will be, um, you know, something on the body, like what it was used for, you know. You know, container, normally it will have something there. You're supposed to see the label so that they will look through the labels, look through all the jerry cans. And as I'm afraid now that many jerry cans may be like that and many people would have bought it and gone to their home. So in my, in my conclusion on this uh, video, I will say, please, for the sake of safety, buy that one they are producing in Nigeria like that. Yes, buy it like that. Eh? Even if it is a chair fake, it is not working forever. Yes, buy it like that. Because today there is something called a planned obsolescence that they, they produce goods in so that it will damage quickly so that you will buy. Because they need you to buy, 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 to meet up with the market returns, you know, all this uh, stock exchange. They need people to be buying. So if you buy one thing and it is good for you forever, you are not going to buy it again. So the modern market is not planned like that. So please buy the one they are producing in Nigeria. Because when I was in Nigeria, we used to buy the one they produce in Nigeria. There were all those plastic companies in Lagos. They were producing it there. Buy it like that. So at least you know it's brand new. It has not been used for anything, right? And stop buy, uh, buying things from containers that you know they are reused. Because you don't know what they use it before. You know, it's better they put it in small nylon that you know it's a brand new nylon than they are putting it all, all this container. You don't know what they use it for. You don't know who is going through it, you know. So there's a lot of lack of safety standards in different forms that we see in Nigeria. Protect yourself. Yeah? My condolences to this family, to this brother and his loved ones. But please, my brothers and my sisters, do better. If you see something like that, yeah, you can be blaming Nigeria, but take actions to save other people. So that, that that agony you are going through, other people will not go through it. 
very unfortunate young man in his prime healthy just because he went to buy a jail car and just because some corrupt person break down all the rules so that he will come to nigeria to make money and see the cost now right so yeah nigeria is corrupt nigeria is corrupt. It's the people the people are just criminal and corrupt minded i don't know i don't know it's very bad yeah done it's very very bad